So, I'm just looking at the mood that I'm currently in, and the mood that I'm currently in, I'm not gonna lie, a bit shit. The only thing giving me pass what one is conversation and something I'm already, let's face it, quite good at. So, we are going to have to do conversation, so court manners and flattery. It's something I feel I'm going to have to do. So let's go into classes and do com conversation. That was it. I almost forgot immediately, which is quite bad. Boosh. Let's learn about all these lovely things. Get up to 15. You review the correct greetings for guests according to rank and when to extend that your hand to another. All nobles ex expect their due honours. No, you are queen. Anyone who steps up, you say, Hello, peasant. What's it like having less money than me? And then you laugh, tyrannically. <laughs> that's, that's, that's definitely how they laugh. You learn that it's important to make eye contact when saying nice things about someone. Don't, well, well done you. <laughs> it's truth, all right. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother will never be coming back. Yes, well, my mother's more important than you. Thank you. However, I must call for your aid. The Ixionite occupation of the country of Ibrium has gone on for too long. Now it's the time to push back. Foreign affair success. Oosh. This game really does have a good sense of accomplishment once you do something. Once you do one of those tests, you just want to fist pump. His sister, the Duchess of Greece, started trouble in Ixion four years ago, so they invaded the territory as payback. I don't know anything about the military, I don't want to fight. There must be a peaceful way to settle oh, bollocks! Ah oh, well, there must be a peaceful way to settle this. I will send for diplomats from Ixion to try and cut some uh cut some arrangement. Thank you, Your Highness. Oh wonderful, I'm more yielding now. Your Highness, if I may ask, that necklace you're wearing, where did it come from? It was a gift from the Duke of Sedna. Then you have made arrangements with him. I think he's asking if I'm engaged with to the Duke. I'm considering it. I just like jewellery. We didn't get with anyone last time, did we? Hmm. Should we say we just like jewellery? Or should we say I'm considering it? I'm confused. This is a difficult situation. Getting married to someone will provide us some sort of defensive aid, and this is Iron Man, so we do want to stay on for as long as we can. So yeah, I'm considering it. No arrangement yet, but I look upon him fondly. I see. Your happiness is my utmost concern, Your Highness. Thank you! <laughs> oh my god. That gets me more cheerful. Right, what's my mooding? So we want to ideally get out of lonely, because lonely is quite piss poor. But then again, the only thing we can do is yielding, so we need to get more angry. Is there any way we can get less lonely? No. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Alright, so what, what what does this do? Two pl Yielding. So that means we'll get all the way yielding and all our hard work will be undone. Plus one, ch minus one cheerful. All of these are really shitty options, honestly. So let's just want a willful. Willful's a good thing to be. Oh, fuck it, we'll sneak out. YOLO. Well, my father probably will find out, but YOLO. <laughs> Shit don't make itself! Are we still on the same? We are still on the same. Alright, let's big public speaking up and then flattery. I feel that's going to come in handy. So, let's keep flattery and then let's change this to public speaking as well. Get these at least vaguely up. You practice tongue twisting sequences of syllables to improve your enunciation. I'm posh, I have these by default. You learn that flattering comments have the best impact when keep short. Gushing makes people feel awkward. <laughs> Of course it does. You'll fit in it, though, doesn't. So, you know, all you people from the north of England, you now know where you're going wrong. <laughs> and by north of England, I mean north of Watford, of course. Ah, the representative from Ixion is here. Be careful. No one wants to give up prizes that they have won. You have the full support of my sister and myself, your highness. <sighs> Let's just get this over with. Oh, good. All right, well... If she dies, shit happens. So, you know. Noven history! Nah, didn't fucking go somewhere. Hellas and Maria, neighbouring duchies. Together, the siblings Bryn and Banyong govern most of the southern Nova. I feel that's so useful. It's useful, useless. Your Royal Highness, thank you for granting me this audience. I'm sure we can come to an amicable agreement. 
Let bygones be bygones, no? We will forget about your unprovoked attack on us, and you will transfer the rights to this little province. Uh. Foreign affairs! Boosh! Bam. It was the Duchess of Hellas who tried to take over part of Ixion's territory without the support of my mother, the Queen. Oh god, I feel we're gonna fucking ignite war by being a fucking smart ass. Oh well. We can be good neighbours again without any lives being lost. Foreign affairs failed, foreign intelligence failed. Bollocks. Offer him money if Ixion draws off to punish the Duchess! <laughs> Execute him! <laughs> Alright, so. Surrender province, no, because that's terrible. How good are we at bluffing or intimidating? It's Iron Man, so we can't go back and redo our decision either. Uh, pretty much all of these are weak and you'll probably die. Um, fucking way over reaction. Uh, I'm feeling this is the only way out. And I don't think I've got good enough. Oh, fuck it. You are trespassing on our lands. You will withdraw our troops at once. Only then we will have peace. Bush! Get in. Hmm. This necklace I'm wearing right now might convince him that we are already allied with Duke Sedna in the domain of Talas. Threaten to attack. Claim you are allied with Talas. Let's do that. That seems like a much better idea. Threatening to attack seems like a terrible idea. As you can see, I already have allies. Do you really want to both face both Nova and Talas? Perhaps not. Yes, I won. Woohoo! Go me! Right, we want to go more willful, do we not? Wait, what? why is cheerful so fucking high? Oh, God. All right, so we can't go any more willful because that means we'll just be lonely. And lonely's dreadful. We don't want to be dreadful. Oh, this is really awkward. So I want to get up, but there's nothing to get up. Damn it. Oh, cock. Fine. We'll do this and hopefully we'll have a bit of willful. I'm still on, yeah, one, and then one here as well. All right, we'll do public speaking court manners as well. That that at least got us somewhere. I feel like it will get us further. Okay, so you memorize lists and sonnets, then recite them for your teacher, and any castle staff she can round up to serve as an audience. You study the rules for formal dining, including the proper utensils for different dishes. As the queen, no one will comment on your mistakes, but they will notice them. Alright, well, we probably are going to go to some sort of dining if I'm, you know, supposedly already fucking married. I... <laughs> I never got that. Like, there's that famous size, like scene in Titanic. Where, you know, she's like, oh, and this one's for this, and this eating utensil is for this. General rule. I'm sort of a middle, higher, middle class person. As <laughs> you can tell by my, um, accent. And you start from the outside and work your way in with cutlery. That's it. That's that's all there is to it. It's not difficult, is it? <sighs> oh, well, what a diner. You have unlocked a new outfit. Woo! Does it look any more ridiculous than the one I'm wearing? There are reports that Key Thong has been sighted leaving the old forest. I don't know what that is. <laughs> a beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak, and spikes on its back. Eh! Several disappearances on southern Calaris are already thought to be the work of this creature. What do we do? Should we send hunters? The traditional policy on stray beasts is to hope that they return to the forest to stay there. <laughs> oh, good! Hunters are no match for such creatures. You would only make it anger and waste more lives. So we just let it eat people? Everyone dies in the end. <laughs> what a dick answer! <laughs> oh, what a capitalist answer. Yeah, I'm more depressed. Also, there is a letter for you. Talaris, the Duke of Sedna, will be arriving next week on an official visit. If he asks, do you want to get married? I will say yes. Alright, do we want to get more willful? No, because two still won't. Oh, we got to get less lonely. Is there anything we can do to get less lonely? We're already quite lonely. The only thing is, I don't want to get any more yielding. Cheerful? Uh, Alright, fuck it, let's go cheerful. We're already lonely as it is, so there's no way to take it off. Alright, oh, first of all, new outfit, new outfit, new outfit. We will boost conversation. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> what is that? <coughs> oh, I do apologize for that cough. Bloody hell. <coughs> oh, that came from nowhere. Should we just do more? Oh, the guy's fucking coming, isn't he? 
Should we get flattery up a little bit? I feel like that's essentially what I'll need. And let's get... Battlefield medicine up. Why not? So, medicine and conversation. So, conversation's already there. So, let's do that. And then medicine. We're going to need some... Battlefield. Done. Small personal details help make the recipient of your flattery feel that you've truly noticed them. Which is always better than simple, how nice you look. <laughs> of course it is. How nice you look is something you say to a girlfriend of a couple of years. Just like, uh, yeah, sure, you look brilliant. Right, can we just fucking go now? Uh, you learn that wounds, even minor ones, should be washed as soon as possible to prevent growing under the skin. That sounds disgusting. Ah, your highness! What a pleasure it is to meet you in person at last. Your description did not do you justice. Don't you put on those moves with me, person I've already bluffed to be my husband. And have already said is going to be my husband. Who do you think you are? Ah, <coughs> you have a silver tongue, your grace, or an eye for unfinished potential. Both admirable qualities. Ooh, that flattery son. I was so pleased to hear that you had accepted my humble offering. A jewel for a jewel, but you are the most precious. I hope that this is only the beginning of a mutually beneficial relationship. The union between us would bring stability to both of our peoples. He really does want to marry me. Accept his offer politely decline after all that. Right. I don't want to go down the route I did last time, so yeah, fuck it, of course I am. I would be honoured. Elodie, your grace, are you not aware that my daughter has... Has only 14 summers? It's my decision. A betrothal only, of course. There is no need to hurry, but you have your coronation to plan for, after all. 14 summers? What an incredibly posh way of saying it. If I might be of service in any way, please do send for me. I will be happy to offer my protection or advice. Yeah, well, we fucked off Dad, but, you know, Dad's got. Can we get cheerful without being more lonely? Less cheerful? My oh, God, we can't, can we? The only way to get cheerful is by being more of a lonely bastard as well. Wonderful. Alright, is there anything which gives us too cheerful? Uh, is there fuck? Alright, well at least I could get the willful and angry up by just constantly visiting the dungeons. Now I'll have to do. Affected by willfulness. Willful, okay. You sneak peek at some of the lucky peasants held up in the dungeons. Petty thieves and troublemakers now suffering in the dark. They're obviously bad people, but seeing them so miserable still feels unfair. There must be a better way. There isn't. <sighs> Sucks to be them. <laughs> oh, what a dick thing to say. All right, let's get herbs and poison up. I feel we need that now. Um, Should we get at least these above 50, though? Nah, let's do medicine. <laughs> I feel we need them at some point. You need everything in this game, though, to be fair, at some point. You learn that willow bark can be used to relieve aches and fever. Good. Uh, the first treatment for most ingested poison is to purge the stomach by forcing the victim to eat powdered charcoal, which can absorb dangerous substances. Is that a real thing? There must be someone in uh, medical backgrounds in fact I know there's people in medical backgrounds who watch is that true or is that like that must be medieval bollocks right oh well YOLO oh you are requested to stand in judgement a woman has been convicted of attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown your highness the slattern dares to beg pardon when she admits that she tries to poison my sister under her own roof which sister Coruscant the Duchess of Mead Test of Novan history failed? It's like 40! Okay, no. Is she alright? She is unharmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchens before she could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It's just that it is. Them devils killed my brother and broke me mum's heart. Okay, well, one man can appear to speak, but you appear to be a lonely peasant. So, I'm gonna have to kill you. Sorry. <laughs> Lol. Lie to her, they did. When she went to see why he'd not come back, said he'd gone for a soldier. When he never would. He weren't the only one neither. I waited ten years to get my chance my, to get my back. That's justice. You see, she's clearly unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. I don't know what this is all about. Either way, murder is a serious crime, but put her to work, imprison her, execute her. Didn't we once in a pre in the previous playthrough, we imprisoned someone. Basically we didn't execute them, but they broke out and killed a bunch of people. 
So, uh, Sauce. Sour about life. As she is clearly guilty, her life is forfeit. She will be hanged in public as a deterrent to other criminals. I would say I'm not an advocate in this game, obviously. I'm not about to fucking say political views on YouTube, but in this game, I wasn't, I was gonna say, you know, well, I don't believe in the whole eye for an eye thing. But then I kind of realized that's why I just did, so. <laughs> She's like, well, they killed my brother and me, ma'am, so I'm gonna kill them. And then I'm like, no, you can't do that. We're gonna kill you for trying to kill someone. <laughs> oh dear, YOLO, you'll not have me. All of a sudden, she breaks loose from her guards and rushes at you. In her your court dress, you are unarmed, you grope for a weapon, and only find a heavy golden ornament which will hurl in no direction. Your missile flies wide of its mark. I was going to say, I know we don't die here. Before you have a chance to do anything else, your personal guards step into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. Her lifeless body lies bleeding on the carpet. <sighs> Sorry about life. Sorry about life. Should have imprisoned though, really, because I seem to remember that happening before. <laughs> Alright, so executing people is bad. Who knew? Let's go more willful, shall we? Willful! Father won't like if he finds out, but fuck him. Ah, oh, now we're willful. So, we can't do that. Oh, we still fucking won in that, though. We are, however, one in military and lumen. We don't want to do lumen. Lumen's pointless, because <laughs> I killed the person. Oh, no, I sent the person away who was supposed to be a lumen. All right, let's do military. May as well. Uh, let's do military. Where the fuck are you? Military. Strategy and military. I said military. <laughs> Wrong one. Logistics. Right. Being able to move traps and supplies in a timely fashion and the skill of achieving victory on land and the skill of achieving victory on sea. Okay. Let's learn a little bit about it. You learn the types and amount of food required for an army on the march and how long they will remain edible. Uh, probably not long. A little silly fact for you, did you know that it was Napoleon? Under his regime, canned food was invented. So, uh, so there you are, another little silly fact for you. You study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons in battle formations. Aha, so we do. As you're walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in its talons. Well, Falcons, an owl flying in the open in broad daylight. That's unusual. I wonder if something attacked it. When you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There is a woman here to see you. She wishes the crown funding for a project. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to have to fucking say no anyway. Thank you for seeing me, Your Royal Highness. I, I come behalf of the people. I wish to build a hospital where any citizen afflicted with disease can be brought for treatment. Putting all the sick people together, won't that make them die even faster? I cannot begin to say the amount of things which is wrong with that. We are not interested. <laughs> wow, what a dick. <laughs> I really am a good queen. Poor people want something? No! Tell them to go fuck themselves. Oh, God. All right, we need to get more yielding. Do I really want to get more cheerful? Oh, sure. Let's get more cheerful. YOLO. So now I'm lonely again. So now I've got the old skills. Great. Uh, we know about enough about history. I thought that foreign affairs could be a good thing to learn. And we might get that up to 50. And let's do... Battlefield medicine. Because you never know when that's going to fucking come in handy. I seem to remember the last time he died in the most dickish way over and over and over and over again. So, <laughs> let's try and not make that happen. Hopefully this will go to 50. It will go to 50. Awesome. The Duchy of Lila was not part of the... Whatever that means. You learn that minor burns can be cooled, washed, and gently wrapped to keep them clean, like a cut. Major burns and scalding, such as boiling oil, are untreatable on the battlefield. <laughs> good, that's good something to learn. Remember that the festival of the good lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations from the commoners... Followed by a grand gardener of the nobility. That would be amazing now. If Queen Elizabeth II, she, uh, you know, got on stage and was like, Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm not even going to try an accent. I sounded like fucking Eric Idle. We are here to celebrate the Queen's coronation. And on her behalf, we will have loads of commoners dancing. Come on, commoners, dance, 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 dance. Actually, now I think about it, that sounds awesome. Oh, well. As queen, you would be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting, possibly give a speech. 
However, since you are not yet crowned, it is not yet required. It may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean not safe? Outside the castle, you are well less protected. If anyone means you harm, think on it now. Decide later. There is a letter for you as well. It's from Bryony. I went to school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. Oh, God. No, we're not going to... Oh, thank God for that. Someone invites us to something later on, and that's the thing we kept dying on. It drove me on the wall. Because even if you felt if you do the first test, then there's the second test which you go and die on as well. Right, what did we want to become? More cheerful, I think, wasn't it? Because Wilful was shy. So, cheerful. Let's lock myself alone with all the teddies, even though it's a little bit childish. Oh, that's a beautiful stream. <laughs> God. Alright, so we have cheerful, but Wilful still appears to be affecting us. Because we still got this at one. This is at two. Athletics is also at one. Do that? I mean, possibly not. Alright, well, this one. We may as well get it done now. Let's go to athletics and running and climbing. You never know when that might come in handy. I possibly never. You practice climbing up and down fixed ladders, driving out any fear of heights, and learning to move swiftly and surely. You practice walking at a brisk but comfortable pace for a set length of time every day. That's it. Oh, wow. Well. All right, then. Today is the procession and planting of the Festival of the Good Lady. Will you be leading the parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. The people will recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there is no recovery. I will lead the parade. I will lead the parade and make a speech. I would rather not go. My public speaking is amazing. I'm going to risk it and say we'll lead the parade and make a speech. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best parade leader ever. My little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. At the end of the route, you help the priestesses turn over the new tree to be planted. After the blessing I read, you hold up your hands and call for silence so that you can speak. Unfortunately, all the words you had planned to go out of your head and your face at the moment. You manage a few polite sayings about the meaning of holidays and thank everyone for attending, then turn away your cheeks red. The procession regroups the and turn to Glossal. All of a sudden, there's a faint rumbling noise from under your feet. The newly planted tree in front of you quivers. Then, out of nowhere, a spurt of water comes up from the ground, spattering you and the assembling crowd with droplets. Just as quickly as it began, it vanishes. The priestesses try to calm the crowds, but with talks of omen and natural reactions. But they can't halt the whispers. Dark magic. That water tasted of salt. Alright, so we did something there, but we haven't died yet, so that's good, that's, that's good.